August 26th at the T-Mobile Arena, MMA's best and biggest pay-per-view seller, Conor McGregor, goes against boxing's best and definitely the king of pay-per-view, the nine-figure man, Floyd Money Mayweather, in a huge battle of what's become now MMA against boxing. Hi, I'm Dan Cox. Listen, man, I did not think this fight would actually happen. It had been talked about for a long time. Um, I mean, you look at the odds back in in 16 when it, it was coming out. He was like a, a – McGregor was like a 1,000-plus uh, dog in it. It's closed up. It was at 500, now 350, and then get in, get in shorter and smaller. We're seeing people believing in McGregor believing in what he's got to say. Um, you know, he, he says he's looking forward to, uh, you know, the post-fight presser and educating, uh, you know, everybody and showing what the MMA fighters can bring to the table. Obviously, uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, what can you say? 49-0. and 0. Some people say he lost. Uh, listen, he didn't lose. The Olympics, he definitely did not lose. Floyd has never lost, does not know how to lose. And I can tell you that is definitely a big deal in any fight when you have a fighter that has quit before or given up a choke, however you want to look at it, and you have a fighter that has never lost. Floyd doesn't know how to lose. His brain doesn't even conceive of losing. I will say this, McGregor is equally as confident. This is a man that has backed up everything he said and done the best with humility, regardless of all the talk that he does. When he did lose, when he dealt with, as far as Diaz, it was respectful. And listen, he took the fight at 170, and he took the rematch at 170, and he won that fight. So you have to give respect to McGregor. You know, this guy is really a special, special fighter, a very smart guy, very smart negotiator. When you're talking about making nine figures within 30 minutes to 40 minutes, um, in about four years or so, actually government assistance 2012, I believe, and then has taken it to this level, you know, man, hats off to you, Connor, because uh, you deserve it, brother. You have earned it. You've done everything to get in there. My concern, second half, this fight, man, let's break this fight down. And it's very simple. Now, right off the bat, we've got an orthodox and a southpaw, which immediately gives you the battle of the feet. You want your lead foot to the outside of their lead foot. So if I'm an orthodox fighter, I want my left foot in front and on the outside of his, lining the right shoulder up for that straight right, giving me the angle, come off center line, throw that shot all day long. But on the other hand, it works just as well if you are a southpaw. So it is a battle of position, right? Floyd Mayweather has made a living off that lead right hand that he throws. And he lands it on orthodox fighters as well as southpaws. This, in my opinion, is going to really dictate this fight. Because if Conor is able to land early, if he can get Floyd to be emotional and engage, stay in the pocket a little too long, maybe lean on the ropes and try to fight off the ropes. He loves to do that. He's very good at it. But in this fight, connor has got one way to win, and it's not a decision. His way to win is by knockout. So he wants this fight tight and close, and, and that's his chance to win. Floyd is the best defensive fighter in my generation, in my opinion. Um, I believe that he will make sure the ring is uh, of size. He will make sure that he does not get caught up on the ropes. He'll do what he does, which is box and win. And listen, folks, this is boxing. This is called the sweet science 
for a reason. That means you hit and you do not get hit. Is that the favorite that we have as fans to see? No, it's not. We want to see two guys get in there, bang heads, throw it out, and, and the best guy stands. But this is a business. Um, this is a legacy, a career. You're not going to see that in this fight. Um, if you do, the fans win. No doubt about it. If we don't, McGregor and Mayweather win. Believe me. And they'll be laughing all the way to the bank on this one. So the keys, the keys to victory for Floyd, use the jab, use the footwork, use the angles, lead right, keep your back off the ropes, and listen, surprise McGregor with that speed. Come forward. And, and you know, boxing, angles in boxing are totally different. Stance in boxing is totally different than in MMA, especially when you look at McGregor's stance. He's got a very wide karate stance. That is not uh, the kind of stance you want to have when you're in the boxing ring against Floyd Mayweather. But if Connor can pressure Floyd, if he can come out early, if he can land something early that gets Floyd's respect, then we might have ourselves a fight. That is going to be key. So connor has got to cut the ring off. It's going to be very difficult to do against a guy like Floyd Mayweather. He's going to have to make sure that he throws more than one punch or two punches because Floyd will counterpunch him all day long. The guy is extremely fast. At, the, at this age, he's still that fast. So the way I see it, obviously, I come from boxing. You know, man, I've, I've got to see Floyd win in this fight. Uh, as a fan of MMA and a fan of the underdog, I would love to see Connor show and get, get his opportunity to really shine. Now, whether he wins or not, I would love to see a fight, right? That's what people are going to pay for. It's a fight. And if I'm not mistaken, it's in, an insane amount for the pay-per-view. So as fans, you know, we got to decide. Are we paying for the pay-per-view? Do you got a friend that knows the stream to get it? <laughs> you know, who knows? But we're all going to watch, let's face it. And um, this fight has the ability to deliver. But I don't think it will. I think we'll see a boxing match. I think we will see possibly Connor getting tired as this goes on. He could actually be dropped or knocked out by Floyd. Everybody sleeps on his power. Speed is power. He doesn't sit down on all of his shots. He's a very strategic fighter. He fights to win. If he gets Connor hurt, if he sees he can land shots, he's going to land them. You know, so Connor, come out early and hard, cut that ring off, pressure, dirty box, get in this guy's head. Floyd, do what you do, brother. And um, we're going to see a great fight, I hope. I hope. So. Listen, I'm curious on everybody's opinions because I hear about it all the time on social media. If you guys can send in any kind of comments, let me know. It really does make a difference. Kind of engage. I'm a fan. I like to talk to the fans. Um, so, hey, I hope to see from you. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Everyone counts. So, hey, for Fight Glow, excited to say that. For Modern Pugilist Entertainment, for the BKF, I'm Dan Cox. We will see you next time.